Matthias Joseph Schieben, Meckenheim, Rhine Province, the 1st of March 1835, Cologne, the 21st of July 1888, was a German Catholic theological writer and mystic. Topic life topic Schieben studied at the Gregorian University at Rome under Carlo Passalia and Giovanni Peroni from 1852 to 1859 and lived in Collegium Germanicum. He was ordained to the priesthood on 18 December 1858. He taught dogmatic theology at the Diocesan Seminary of Cologne from 1860 to 1875. Topic theology topic In Schieben's own words, the practical aim of his theology was to make the Christian feel happy about his faith. Because the beauty and eminence of our faith consist in this, that through the mysteries of grace it raises our nature to an immeasurably high plane and presents to us an inexpressibly intimate union with God. Topic mysticism Topic Sheban's mind reveled in speculating on divine grace, the hypostatic union, the beatific vision, the all-pervading presence of God. He was a firm believer in visions granted to himself and others, and his piety was all-absorbing. Very few minds were attuned to his. His pupils were allegedly overawed by the steady flow of his long abstruse sentences which brought scanty light to their intellects, his colleagues and his friends but rarely disturbed the peace of the workroom where his spirit brooded over a chaos of literary matters. Topic works topic The list of Sheban's works opens with three treatises dealing with grace, Natur und Nade, Versuch einer Systematischen, Wissenschaftlichen Darstellung der Naturlichen und Übernaturlichen Lebensorning im Menschen Mainz, Franz Kirchheim, 1861. This work by Schieben was translated from German into English by Cyril Oscar Wallert, S.J. Wallert's English translation was published under the title Nature and Grace St. Louis and London, B. Herder Book Co., 1954. Quid est homo, sive controversia de statu puri natura, qua ratio simul et finis o economia dei erga homin supernaturalis, uberim demonstrator ex patrum praesertum sententia Mainz, Franz Kirchheim, Rome, Joseph Spithover, 1862. This was not an original work by Schieben, but rather a new edition of a work which Antonio Cassini, S.J. had published in 1724. Sheban's 1862 edition of Cassini's work contained the text of the original work, plus an introduction and notes provided by Sheban. According to Cyril O. Vollert, see Vollert's forward to Sheban's Nature and Grace, Sheban's purpose in publishing this edition of Cassini's work was to supply a patristic foundation for Nature and Grace. Cassini's original work was titled R. P. Antoni Cassini e Societate Jesu, Controversia de Statu Puri Natura in Compendium Redacta, et ad Linguarum Ebrescia et Grisi Publicam Exercitationum Adhibita of Filippo Dazen in Collegio Romano Auspices Eminentis. A. C. Reverendis, Principis Melchioris de Polignac S. R. E. Cardinalis Amplissimi Rome, Typus de Martis, 1724. Die Herrlichkeiten der Gottlichen Nade. Freiburg, 1863. 8th ed., by A. M. Weiss, 1908. The work is popular in scope and became enormously successful. An English translation, The Glories of Divine Grace, appeared during Sheban's lifetime. Vollert X. Mysterian des Christenthums. Freiburg, 1865-97. Trans. The Mysteries of Christianity. This is Sheban's most famous book. There is no other work quite like it in the vast history of Christian literature. Vollert She. Five pamphlets in defense of the Vatican Council, directed against Ignaz von Dollinger, Johann Friedrich von Schulte, and other Old Catholics. Handbuch der Katholischen Dogmatik, seven parts. Freiburg, 1873-87, the author did not finish this last, he died whilst working on grace. The missing treatises were supplied in German by Dr. Leonard Atzberger, Freiburg, 1898. In English the missing treatises were supplied by Wilhelm and Scannell, who whilst strictly adhering to Sheban's thought, reduced the bulky work to two handy volumes entitled, A Manual of Catholic Theology Based on Sheban's Dogmatic 3rd ed., 1906. Sheban also wrote a two-volume work, Mariology, later translated into English. He founded and edited 1867 the Kölner Pastoralblatt and edited for 13 years Das Okumenische Konzil vom Jahre 1869, later after 1872, entitled Periodisch Blatter zu Wissenschaftlichen Besprechung der Grossen Religiosen Fragen der Gegenwart. 
References External links Mariology complete in one volume. Soft cover. Hardcover. Attribution This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Matthias Joseph Schieben. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton.